peers now moving forward we have the first uh, um, talk of this uh, symposium uh, i welcome professor m a alwar ji who has uh, taken time to uh, present his talk today on the treatment of non vedantic darshanas and their role and limitation in pursuit of brahma vidya as enunciated in the shri bhashya of shri ramanujacharya uh before uh, i i give the floor to him just a brief introduction to uh, alwar ji uh, uh so he is the uh, professor nay shastra at uh, government maharaja sanskrit college and i was mentioning how he is active in both in the spheres of academic research and in traditional vidvat sabhas alike and uh, he is honored with many recognitions including shastra ratnakara by ramana uh, ramanjaneya veda patshala he also holds membership in several professional and academic bodies he uh, also works for social outreach of vedic knowledge especially to children through multimedia publications and web based programs he specializes in fields of navya nyaya prachina nyaya vishishtad vishishtadvaita vedanta manuscriptology lexicography and study kind of in time a very warm welcome varji thank you very much विष्णुस्वत्कटांगदलयदाकलोज्वलांगं श्रोणीभूषा सुवक्षो मणिमकुटभाकुंडलैर्मंडितांगं हस्तोद्यक्षंखचक्रांबुजगदमदम पीतकोशेयवासं विद्योदुद्भास मुद्यदिनकसदृश पद्मसंस्थम नमा काषाशोभिकमनीयशिखा निवेश दंडत्रोज्वलक विमलोपवीत उद्यदिनेश निभमुंडसदूर्धपुंड्रूपम तमस्तुयतिराजदृशोत्मग्रे कन्वे मै डी से ऑफ ग्राटिट्यूड टू दि इंडिक अकेडमी फॉर आर्गनजिंग दिस् वंडरफुल वेबिनार having several stalwarts in the field of philosophy and several allied subjects i am also very much beholden to shri nagraj paturi ji a great visionary scholar who has been leading the endeavors of the indic academy in a very able and accomplished manner and i also thank shri nitin shridhar ji for inviting me to this forum and asking me to give a talk on the current topic so the topic given to me is how have the other darshanas been treated in shri bhashya and what is their role in the pursuit of brahma vidya one very important aspect that we have to note before i go to the topic is that <clears throat> all the darshanas especially the astika darshanas attempt at showing the path to moksha so for example when we see the vaisheshika darshana which is said to deal with physics or ontology the beginning sutra is as follows atha to dharmam vyakhya syamah so one might be surprised why is the vaisheshika darshana talking about dharma and then next sutra is yato abhyudaya nishte esa siddhi hi sa dharma so that entity by which one attains upliftment and also by which one attains moksha or salvation which is known as nishreyasa that is known as dharma. and then the third sutra is tadvachana dhamma is pramanya 
since the vedas talk about dharma their pramana are there to be authentic and considered as the most important pramanas and then comes the fourth sutra where we actually here is the connection between the first sutra and the fourth sutra which says dharma vishesha prasutat dravya guna karma samanya vishesha samavayana padarthana sadharmya vaidharmya abhyam tatva jnanat nishvesa so one when one understands the reality of the sadharmya and vaidharmya i will not go into that topic what it means of the six entities known as padarthas or categories as they are loosely translated in english one will attain salvation similarly when you see the first sutra of the nyaya sutras or nyaya darshana authored by sage gautama it says pramana prameya samshe prayojana drishtanta siddhanta avayva ಸಾಂಖ್ಯದರ್ಶನ of which sankhya karika is the most authentically accepted work it says dukkhatraya abhighata ati jignasa tad abhighata ke so a very human being is beset with three types of miseries and therefore he has to attempt to overcome this misery and attain what is known as kaivalya and one need not talk about yoga darshana <laughs> it is another very important darshana that is the practical aspect of all the darshanas in a way and even purva mimamsa darshana for that matter talks about eternal happiness etc which leads to moksha they don't talk much about it but of course they also talk about it. that way all the six astika darshanas intend to lead the spiritual aspirant to moksha or salvation so there is no doubt about that then the question arises why is there mutual contradiction among the darshanas and what does sri bhashyam say about it so the answer is very simple actually there is no contradiction if one sees from the right point of view because each darshana has its own domain and that domain is well respected by the other shastrakaras or the sutrakaras so for example nyaya darshana deals with pramanas means of knowledge vaisheshika darshana deals with prameya that is antaraki purva mimamsa darshana deals with karma vichara whereas brahma mimamsa darshana deals with brahma vichara so when it comes to pramanas everybody depends on nyaya shastra when it comes to ontology in several aspects we respect the vaisheshika darshana and accept it that is why in the shri bhashyam in the last adhikarana that is known as the utpatya sambhava adhikarana bhagavad ramanuja acharya very clearly quotes a shloka where he says sankhyam yogah pancharatram vedah paashupatam tatha ಅನ್ಯತಾಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ಟ್ there are several aspects mentioned in other systems of philosophy other streams of knowledge not only philosophy we go outside of philosophy also that deal with other streams of knowledge and some aspects might be contradictory to our philosophy our system of philosophy or our <coughs> streams of thought but those that are not contradictory to our 
systems of thought, system of thought, and have been mentioned in elsewhere, are accepted as they are. So there is no contradicting, contradicting them or questioning their value or authenticity, etc. And in this shloka, he clearly, which is very clearly delineated by Amand Jacharya, he says, Sankhyam Yogaha Pancharatram Vedaha Pashupatam Atma Pramana Nyetan Nahanta Vyanjaya. So it might be Sankhya philosophy. Of course, in Vishishta Dvaita philosophy, we accept Sankhya philosophy 90%. So how is the process, how does the process of creation occur? I'll not go into the details once again for paucity of time. We say prakritehe mahane, mahataha hankaraha, tasmad ganashta shodashakaha, tasmad api shodashaka, panchabhya panchabhuta. This is how the Sankhya Karika explains the process of creation and we accept it as this. With a slight modification that where we say, Prakriti or primordial nature by itself does not attain transformation. It attains transformation on account of it, of the Supreme Brahman being its indwelling. That is the slight modification Vishishta Dvaita philosophy does to Sankhya philosophy. Otherwise, we accept it in total. As far as yoga is concerned, we accept the Ashtanga Yoga procedure in total. We never question it. Not only we don't question it, we accept it. But there is a slight, small difference of opinion in the sense, yoga philosophy does not accept Ishvara as the material cause of the universe. Whereas Vishishta Dvaita philosophy, in line with the Vedic philosophy, accepts that the Ishvara, our Supreme Lord, is also the material cross. <clears throat> so he is both the Nimitta Karana and Upada. But all other aspects of yoga are accepted. Similarly, with regard to Pancharatra, with regard to Pashupata, several aspects mentioned in these. In fact, Pashupata philosophy is Shaiva philosophy. But just because it is Shaiva philosophy, we don't discount several aspects mentioned in Pashupata philosophy. And we need not talk about Vedas itself. Because ours are all the orthodox systems of philosophy are in fact based on the Vedic systems of thought only. Therefore, this shloka is very important. Similarly, <clears throat> when we talk about other darshanas, of course, there are certain differences of opinion. But the Fundamental aspects of those darshanas are definitely accepted by us. So in this context, it is pertinent to actually see which aspect of Sri Bhashya or which portion of Sri Bhashya is involved in showing, uh, dealing with the different darshanas. So I'll just share the screen and show you. So this is, most of it is actually common to Advaita philosophy as well as Dvaita philosophy. So when you see the way the Brahma Sutras and the Sri Bhasha commentary on Brahma Sutras are arranged, you have total of four Adhyayas. In those four Adhyayas, you have two chapters that is known as Siddhadvika. That means it is already, Siddha means it is ready. We need not do anything. That means the Brahman, which is the <coughs> root cause of this universe, or we prove in the first two chapters that it is the Brahman that is the root cause of the universe. So once we know this Brahman, then what we have to do? We have to engage in the worship or upasana of the Brahman. So that is known as sadhana adhyaya, that is sadhya. Hereafter it has to be done by us. So sadhya dhika consists of two chapters that deals with what has to be achieved hereafter. So in the siddha dhika, then the sadhya dhika, the fourth chapter is phala adhyaya, 
chapter deals with all issues concerning the nature and other aspects of the phala or moksha. So, for those of you who are not familiar with the first two, me the purport of the first two chapters, you can just see it here. So, the Samanvaya Adhyaya is the chapter that proves that all the Upanishadic passages converge in accepting the Brahman as the sole cause of the universe. And in the next chapter, that is the Avirodha Adhyaya, this chapter proves that there is no contradiction of Vedic or allied texts and other systems of philosophy, just we added here, in accepting the Brahman as the sole cause of the universe. And this is also logically correct. Because there are two aspects. One is Shruti and another is Tarka. So the Vedas also cannot say something that is totally against logic. Similarly, the logic also cannot prove something that is totally against the Vedas. So logic and the Vedic texts have to go hand in hand always. That is the greatness of the Vedanta philosophy, especially Ramananda Charya's philosophy. So, suppose something is said in the Vedas which is totally against our experience, will we accept it? We will not accept it. Similarly, if there is a logic which goes against the basic tenets of the Vedas, we don't accept that also. So, we give equal importance to both of these. Of course, if there is a contradiction with regard to some aspects, we say Vedas gain precedence. That is, in, that is with regard to a minuscule number of topics. Then in the Sadhana Adhyaya and Phala Adhyaya, we talk about what is to be done hereafter, that is, how one has to engage in Upasana, what are the issues engaged in Upasana, when a person engages in Upasana. And in the Phala Adhyaya, how the Jivatma or the individual soul leaves the body, how he travels, then what is the procedure of his attaining moksha in the intermediary period, what all happens, how he proceeds to the Archira, the Marga, etc. are all described. And finally, the nature of Moksha also is described. So here, the second chapter, which is known as, in the second chapter, we have four Padas. I am not going to those details once again. There in the second Pada, that is known as the Tarka Pada, this Pada establishes that even purely from the logical point of view, the Sankhya and other systems schools are faulty. And the Vedanta school alone stands the test of logic. So this is the focus of our discussion today. So how does the how are the non-Vedantic schools, that is mainly Sankhya, Yoga, Purvami Mamsa, and the Nyaya and Vaisheshika schools? that are the orthodox schools, are Astika Darshanas. And Astika Darshanas, namely, Jaina and Bautha Darshanas. How they are dealt with. So in this context, it is pertinent. So this is what I want to, I wanted to share with you in the sense, one has to understand the, how the, Brahma Sutras have been arranged in the in this manner, and also how each pada has a particular, each adhyaya has a particular objective. And in this in the second chapter, each pada, of course, all the chapter, padas of all chapters have a specific role. And here, as you can see in the second pada, this is the Tarka Pada, that is where the other systems of philosophy especially come, come up for discussion in a very focused manner. It is very interesting to note that a great scholar, I think it is M. Hiriyanna or somebody who lived about the earlier century, he has very, very beautifully written an article, The Architectonics of the Brahma Sutras. So from that point of view, when we study, you see how systematically the Brahma Sutras have been arranged how each and every topic has been well dealt with in a threadbare and systematic manner that actually goes, uh, it has actually a very surpassing way of dealing with any particular topic and the way that, that informs the methodology or the methodology that is used here can be used for any subject 
or any topic under the under the sun and it will be a very beautiful manner of presenting things so in this context i'll include my screen show screen share so here what happens is <clears throat> Ramanjacharya, of course, in line with the Brahma Sutras, exposes certain deficiencies in the other darshanas. Though it is accepted by Ramanjacharya also, as all philosophers who are worth their salt accept, that all the darshanas enable a person to do Brahma Vidya. It is very important because. As I said, the Vaisheshika Sutras, they start with the Sutra called Athato Dharmam Vyakhyasya and Yato Abhyudaya Nishtreya Sasiddhi Satarma. And the fourth Sutra, which delineates the Padarthas or categories, that also says this is to be known for the sake of Moksha only. Similarly, when you see the Nyaya Sutras, in the fifth sutra, fifth adhyaya of the Nyaya Sutra, as a question is raised. Katham tarhitatvajnanam. So it was mentioned that one attains moksha or salvation by means of attaining tattvajnana, which is universally accepted. <laughs> Whether it is Nyaya or Vaisheshika or Sankhya or Yoga or Vedanta. It is universally accepted that one attains moksha purely by means of tattvajnana only. And it is substantiated by several Vedic passages like tameva viditva atimrityame tamevam vidva namrataiha pavati na anyas panthaha vidyate ayanaya tameva viditva atimrityame na anyas panthaha vidyate ayanaya so, in the Nyaya Sutra, the question is raised as to Katham Tarhi Tattvajnanam. And the answer is very beautifully given. Samadhi Vishesha Abhyasa Aranyanadi Guha Purinadishu Yoga Abhyaso Padesha Tam Shishya Guru Sabrahmachari Bhi Anasu Yupirabhyu Keyat. So, when you see the Yoga Sutra, Nyaya Sutras, the fifth chapter of the Nyaya Sutras, you feel that you have you are reading as if it is Yoga Sutras. Similarly, when you read the Brahma Sutras in the third chapter, that is the Sadhana Adhyaya, it discusses the process of meditation or jhana at great length. For example, there is an Adhikarana or chapter uh, Adhikarana a portion on how one has to prepare, do dhyana or meditation. Whether he should engage in meditation in a sleeping posture, or sitting posture, or standing posture, etc. And the answer given is asina sambhava. One should engage in dhyana while sitting only, or in the sitting posture only. So, you can see that all the darshanas have a single-minded or focused goal of attaining moksha only. And they perform different roles, which are non-contradictory. Then the question arises, how is it that the other darshanas, like Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Nyaya, etc., are refuted in the Tarkapada of the second chapter of Sri Bhashya based on the Pramasa. The answer is that <clears throat> they are not refuted per se. Only some portions are refuted because they give a partial view of the subject. So that is why it is very beautiful or important to know what Khandana is in Sanskrit. Many a times we say, oh, he has in Sanskrit, idam matam khandaya masa. So what does Khandana mean actually? When you see the etymology, Etymology of the word Khandana. It means it is actually based on the root Khanda. Khanda means what? A portion or a part. <coughs> so, what does Khandana mean? Khandana means Khandanam Nama Apurnatva Jnapan. So, Khandana really means that 
you are pointing out that your view is not complete. It's not an incorrect view, but it's a partial view. You are not having the complete picture about what you want to know. So that is why when we talk, when the non-Vedantic darshanas are refuted, it is mentioned that, for example, when you talk about the Paramanu Karanata. So when you say that the Paramanus are the atoms are the material cause of this world, it has several inconsistencies. Because the Vedas proclaim that Brahman alone is the material cause of this world. etc. <clears throat> there are several passages which mention that the Brahman itself trans or Brahman transformed itself into the form of this world. So when this is the case, when the Brahman itself is the material cause, how can you say that the Paramanus or atoms are the material cause of this world? From that point of view, it is inconsistent. But for a beginner, when you talk about pure logic, yes, in a particular stage, you say, yes, Paramanus are the atoms of the <coughs> material cause of this world. But as you evolve, you realize that there is something beyond the Paramanus, which are actually <coughs> insentient beings. There has to be a sentient material cause that creates this world. This is what we deduce or understand as we progress in the spiritual path. So from that point of view, we say Paramanu Karnata Vada are accepting the theory that the atoms themselves are the material cause of this world is inconsistent. It's not a complete view. It's not a holistic view. Similarly, while accepting the authenticity of the other systems of philosophy with regard to their domain, when we talk about moksha or the cause of moksha, we have certain differences with the other systems of philosophy. And I have just explained or <coughs> explicated just one example of Paramanu Karanatavada and why it is refuted by Brahma, in the Brahma Sutras and in line with the Brahma Sutras. Bhagavad Ramanjacharya also refutes it. So in this way we can see that in the pursuit of Brahma Vidya, which is the main path to attain moksha, Ramanjacharya accepts the authenticity of our pramanya of the other darshanas in their domains, with regard to their domains. There is only a difference of opinion when it comes to the nature of moksha and also the cause of moksha and certain other aspects that are associated with it. So in those places, it is proven by the Brahma Sutras and as I said again, once again earlier, in line with the Brahma Sutras, Ramanjacharya also says, these are not complete views. Of course, they are correct as far as a particular stage in which a spiritual aspirant is misconceived. <clears throat> so that is why the very beautiful example is given. When you are in second standard or third standard, what is phi minus two? Phi minus two is three. That is the teacher will give an example. I have five, five chocolates with me. Suppose I give you two chocolates. How many chocolates will I have remaining? I will have three. So this is the example. But suppose the student in the second class, second standard asks the teacher, what is two minus five? So he says it is not possible. He will tell the student, no, no, it's not possible. You cannot have two minus five. But suppose the student is in 10th standard, he will say two minus five is minus three. So then by that time, the number system is well, you know, the student who is in 10th standard will know the number system, how it is there. The, actually, the place where you have 0, 1, 2 on this side, on the right side, and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 on the left side, etc. 
then you say 2 minus 5 is minus 3. So, it is actually a progression. That is why even Shankaracharya very beautifully says, Ekam Vedanta Vijnanam Swanubhutya Virat. And Bhagavad Ramanda Acharya very beautifully echoes this view and he says, Vedanta Adhyene Naiva Vyutpatihi Puriyate. So, when one, one gets a complete or holistic view about nature, about the Atman, about the Paramatman, etc., only when he studies Vedanta. So, ultimately, the study of Nyaya, Vyakarana, Mimamsa, etc., everything should culminate in the study of Vedanta, which is which leads the person to moksha. So, with these words, I conclude my talk in English. And as per the <coughs> instructions of the organizers, I will say a few words in Kannada and then conclude my presentation. Indic Academy of Bahala Adbutada Kalasakalana Martha Idare. Nama Bharati is some skirti in the some skirta and the Shastra Gilana Rakshana Mado the Kim Tahiri or an eka Kari Kramagana Am Kundida. Yella Kari Kramagudu Bahala Suptavagidu. A Kari Kramagana Nadaso the Ke Olea Yakti Gilana Vidam Saranamato Ayo the Karana or Ike Mart Kundira. Ado in no. ಬಹಳಷ್ಟಲಾಗ್ಯವಾದಂತಹ Either Tinglatwa, either Varsha Hedwash to Vishia, the Yondo, Shir Shikil. Adre Mukhivagi, Ilitilibeka, then on the Kedre, Namabharti, the Shanakadella, too, Samskrit of Asia, Shabdavana of Yogs, Ladre, Aika Kantia, Ide Andrea Ogalege, Yellow, Yella, the Shanakalo said, One day wish you a head tide. Agar one day wish you a head or the Shanakabe. Yavari Tieli on the Vishi on the hand tied at Wondun to Bhagavana Oba Manishano, he samsara chakravana dati moksha on the back on the head of the Ganeka Vishaka Gana, Bekar. Other lip, he jagatina swarupa, you know. Namagana the swarupa, you know, Namagana of heaven. But to Namagu, he jagatigo, it was some bantai. Jagatina Liundu, Karikar and Pavan, Pavan, but Yavari. Yella Vishakur no Kuda, Obamanisha Chenagi Arthamar Kuntrene, Avana Gyana, no Purna, Gyana. Other Joteke, Paramat Pasurupa, no Jivat Pasurupa, no Jivat for Paramat, but in the Hondebek, Ariano, Arustisabek, and Margaya, he Vishakur no Tilko. Otherly, Vedanta Shastra and the head on the Brahma Sutra. Yerade, the Yerade part of the Bere Darshanical Vishivan and Ramagiru, Brahma Sutra, Tianukunavagi, Churches. Churches Waga, Augada Dirua, Yavia, Upade, Adam Shaja, Upade, Adam Shivanana, of Kulda. Yellow Amshakadi, Abi Prai Veda, Berte, Abi Prai Veda Kekarna and Undre, Kalu Vishi, the Li Kalu Darshanical, a poor Navada Christian. Agather a poor Navada Christian. Adarshana Pramana and Adarshana. Aram Bhas Tedi of Bahudagan again now, would Uda Harley and the Kutundu, Vishivana, held it. Adre Ab Ahudaganet or Prabudanagi on the postgraduate level of the doctor level at Gandaga. How many can now put one thousand in it? Adrinda Aram Bhas Tedi Ruin has Adakani held over on the Kramame Bere. Madhya was still the Ruan Tasa the Kaniki head over Kramawe. Bahala Unata was still the Ruan Tasa the Kaniki head over Kramawe. Adrishti and Night Kundagan again, I get the Arba was still in the Higay there. Madhya was still the Higay there. Unata was taken and made the Higay still be cool. Embudagi Adrishti and the Parva Kramanta and some still in the head. 
ಒಬ್ಬ ಒಬ್ಬ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಹುಡುಗನಿಗೆ ಐದು ವರ್ಷ ಅಥವಾ ಆರು ವರ್ಷದವನಿಗೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸವನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಕ್ರಮವೇ ಬೇರೆ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಅಥವಾ ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷದ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಹುಡುಗನಿಗೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸ ಮಾಡಿಸುವ ಕ್ರಮ ಬೇರೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆರಡು ವರ್ಷದವನಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡುವ ಕ್ರಮವೇ ಬೇರೆ ಆ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲ ದರ್ಶನಗಳು ಆಯಾ ಸ್ಥಳಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸತ್ಯವಾಗಿವೆ ಕೆಲವು ದರ್ಶನಗಳ ಅಂಶ ಬೇರೆ ಒಂದು ಹಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಅಷ್ಟು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಕಾಣುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪೂರ್ಣತೆಯನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ವೇದಾಂತ ಅಧ್ಯಯನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಆ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಗಳ ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಅಧ್ಯಯನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಒಬ್ಬ ಮನುಷ್ಯನಿಗೆ ಸಮಗ್ರವಾದ ಒಂದು ಚಿತ್ರ ಒದಗಿ ಅವನು ಸೂಕ್ತವಾದ ಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಧನೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಮೋಕ್ಷವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿ ಕೃತಕೃತ್ಯನಾಗ್ತಾನೆ ಇದು ಈ ಒಂದು ನನ್ನ ಒಂದು ವಿಜ್ಞಾಪನೆಯ ಸಾರಾಂಶವಾಗಿದೆ ಇನ್ನು ವಿಸ್ತಾರವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾದ ವಿಷಯ ಇದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ನನಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರುವಂತಹ ಸಮಯ ಮುಗಿದೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾ ಇಷ್ಟಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಉಪಸಂಹಾರ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ಐ ಎಂ ಅಹಂ ಪಾರ್ಥಾದಯ ಮುಕ್ವ ವಿರಮಾಮಿ ಇಂಡಿಕ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಇತಿ ಎಂ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾ ಅತಿ ಸಮೀಚೀನಾನಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಾಣಿ ಕುರುವತಿ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಅಸ್ಮಾಕಂ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಸ್ಮಾಕಂ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಅಸ್ಮಾಕಂ ಪರಂಪರಾಯ ಸಂರಕ್ಷಣೆ ಸಂರಕ್ಷಣ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಟಿನಿಬದ್ಧ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಕಾರ್ಯಕರ್ತಾರ ನಾಗರಾಜ್ ಪಾಟೂರಿ ಮಹಾಭಾಗ ನಿತಿನ್ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ ಮಹಾಭಾಗ ಅನ್ಯ ಗರೀಯಾಂಸ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸ ಇಮಾಂ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾ ಸಮೀಚೀನ ಮಾರ್ಗೆ ನಯಂತ ಸಂತಿ ಮಹತ ಪ್ರಮೋದ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಎರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಅಹಂ ಎಷ ಅವಕಾಶ ಪ್ರದಾನ ಸಾಂಜಲಿಬಂಧ ಕೃತಜ್ಞತಾ ಆವಿಷ್ಕರೋಮಿ ನಮಃ ಪರಮ ಋಷಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಪರಮ ಋಷಿಭ್ಯ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ವಾರ್ ಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಹೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಎಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಕನ್ಸೈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಾಷಾಸ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆನ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ದರ್ಶನಸ್ ದೇರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ